Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to the Lisa Kickstarter demo. Lisa is the sequel to the game called Lisa, which has actually been renamed to Lisa the First. In Lisa, you play as a man named Brad Armstrong, who lives in a post-apocalyptic world that has no women. Because of this, the world's gone a bit... crazy. Hey, I want you to read those hints. I put a lot of effort into them. But, like, you know, um, whatever. I must go back to my homeland now. Enjoy your hints. How to jump. When in front of a ledge, hold up and press the space bar. To jump down, press down, then the space bar. Love, Terry hits. The soup is cold. Take it anyway? My beautiful baby boy. Uh. Oh, good morning, Brad. Boy, I'm still high. That was some good joy. You still feeling it? Oh. You got a little puke on your shirt, friendo. Uh. Anyway. I had a cool dream about you, buddy. But I'll save it for later. Let's get going, eh? We need to keep this party train going. Richard Weeks, join your party. Find some joy. Be careful out there. There's a lot of bad guys. Always looking out. The Hitman T. Leave me alone. As you can see, the post-apocalyptic world isn't faring too well, especially without women. Men are just throwing themselves off of cliffs for entertainment, for whatever reason. They're also stuffing themselves in barrels and rolling themselves at you. So, the demo itself is a little bit more simple compared to what the full game promises. The full game promises quite a few choices within the game, and not just like a triple flag, get a bad and good fin thing, but really consequence choices. Why are you so scared? Not everyone is out to hurt you, bud. My friend here can be a bit pushy. Right. Essentially, there's choices, at least what's shown and described, and going by what the initial trailer is like. Like choices to save your allies in exchange for things like either items or even your own limbs. This is a dirty picture. Don't look. So inherently that's why this game is really called a kind of RPG about survival. Because it's about making those tough choices. God damn it. Terry, you're worthless. Get a grip, you idiot. We can do this. Oh. Hey, Brad. Um. I didn't think you'd find my home. 
Uh... Do you think me floating away was a bit much? Yeah, well... I don't know, man. I just wanted to impress you. It was dumb, wasn't it? I know. I'm sorry. Please leave. I need to be alone. The game certainly has some depressing things, I think, going on. It's got some goofy stuff, too, like some of the sprites I looked at. Um, there's a lot of reference characters like Mario and Luigi. There's Terry Bogard. There's an obvious kind of Sentai Power Ranger nod. As you can see, the wasteland hasn't been so nice in some of our other denizens. In fact, his kind of fur, kind of collar neck lining that we all seem to wear is kind of merged with his body, so it looks like a giant neck beard. Speaking of which, my character has a very fine neck beard himself. Although sadly, he is fully bald. Word on the street is there's a joy in the old factory. You bet. The guys in there got all the joy you could ever want. And they're super nice guys. Cool. Totally, baby. They're awesome dudes. Hey. Who's that? Huh? Scram. Oh, heck. Later, nerds. Smell you later, Gary. Screw you. As you can see, our attacks are a bit eclectic. I also like how there's a bit of a variance, piss, between the uh, fireballs. Brad Armstrong, a guy with a very masculine name, uses a Hadouken, while Rick Weeks uses just a, uh, it's like doing an impromptu flamethrower thing. Take those EXP points and shove them up your ass. And he just blew up like a Power Rangers villain. You won! I hope you enjoyed that depressing music that just told you you'd kill with a man. I have to imagine Power Rangers would be a lot better if a lot of those battles ended up like that. Fuck you, Power Rangers! <laughs> Or maybe something a little more dramatic. Like, uh... I wish I could see my wife and kids before I... Assuming Sentai monsters had kids. I think some did, actually. Yeah, they did. Off topic, anyway. Some new weapons. One wrist brands, an inchy pacho, and a sunscreen. Broken boomerang for a quick boomerang. Sun at, so we can do our one piece cosplay. Tired shell and an old feather. That way, when we get a fedora later, we look, you know, cool and smart. <laughs> Very nice soundtrack in this game. I really dig it.
Random office furniture out in the desert. Hey, fella. I'm Morgan Foreman. The Foreman. Sorry, but the road is blocked. As you can see, we are hard at work clearing it. Now go away. You're disrupting the workflow. <laughs> oh, that's a sad way to die. Do you like the game so far? Yeah, it's pretty cool. This whole section right here reminds me of old, uh... Like, reminds me of the Tomb of Dembo. There's other games like that, too. Back in that era. When, you know, they actually released demos for games. And you used to have some random NPC to block you off from playing any more of the game. Go buy the full game if you want the rest. Like that. I definitely think what's within this game so far is actually cool, though. Uh, the concepts that the creator talks about are very cool. And I do like that whole uh, gimmick to talk about, but the kind of consequences for your actions, like... Do you want to sacrifice your arm to save your party member, or do you want to get this village massacred in order to assumingly get money or something? Because I'm assuming money is going to be scarce in this game, or whatever currency they use. Even the joy thing is kind of depressing when you think about it. They've named their only source of joy, joy. Essentially. Nothing else seems to be really keeping these people occupied. Welcome! The drugs are on the top floor. Wanna save your game? No, I saved earlier. The joy. This place is paradise, man. I'm feeling good. And he sells us some items. Too much of a good thing is wonderful. This guy is so drugged out, he is staring at a graffiti of a butt. For that is only meaning in life. The butt graffiti. I suppose that's one way to stare at the world. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Magnificent Maid's Men's Club. Don't you just love hair? Anywho. What can we do for you boys? We heard you have joy. How much do you charge? Well... It's free! All we need... Wait a minute. Why are we so bald? Your hair... Where... Where's your hair? You come into our club with no hair. What an insult! You boys are gonna pay. You're gonna pay! Are you ready? Good. Here we go. Yeah. Whoa. Thanks. Now we're no longer so bald. 
Brad and Rick changed that day. Never again will their heads get sunburned. Tears rush to the brim of their eyes. This hair. A gift. Or a curse. Let's find out. Together, Brad. Nothing was accomplished. And the quest for joy lives on. And thank you, the player. You dandy fuck. By the power of our hairs combined, we formed Middle Finger. Enjoy the smell of burnt hair, fuck. Honestly, mooning the guy or anything in this game is pretty much the best skill. It's just so damn effective. He looks mad. You bald jerks. It's in rage mode. Watch the hair! It's such a pity we have to kill him. His hair is so pretty. Even if it is just a giant middle finger. Imagine all the work you had to do to get that hair. All the hair product. It must be really hard to get hair product in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. You know, based on where that question mark is floating, I'm starting to wonder... What part of him is confused? Oh, the hair manatee! Such a waste. Fuck you, rangers! You won. Yet somehow I feel sad. Look, Brad. Joy. We did it. Brad and Rick got their fix. But... Did you? Luckily, Brad didn't have to sacrifice anything. But this is only the beginning. If you'd like more, please visit my Kickstarter page. Thank you for playing. So that's it for the Lisa Kickstarter demo. If you go to the Kickstarter page, you can read up about what the creator wants to do with the game. Don't let this demo kind of fool you into thinking it's just kind of a very simple, quirky RPG. I honestly do think the creator will kind of come through in his promises on the whole consequence-based gameplay. And even the title screen of the demo itself kind of shows you a very beat-up, ragged, arm-missing protagonist. And you also see like a, what well, looks to be like a young girl or something, so it probably has a bit of a... There was a movie called the... Child of Man, or Child of Men, something like that. Or Children of Men? Where it was the... People couldn't get birth anymore. I'm assuming it's gonna be a bit like that. Where he finds the last girl in the world and... Eventually he has to kind of protect her or something. Assuming that's a girl. Aside from that, I really look forward to this game. I'm looking forward to what it can do. And, you know, you really can't go wrong with a guy named Brad Armstrong being your playable character. Even if you do end up missing your, both your arms in the end. If anything, it only makes you more badass, because you'll probably have to chew your enemies to death. So anyway, thank you all for watching me play the Lisa Kickstarter demo. You can find links about the game's information and its Kickstarter page, and the link to the original game Lisa, which is now called Lisa the First, in the below video description. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.